Hello, everybody, and good afternoon. Aiboan, namaste, shalom, merhaba, konnichiwa, e buenas tardes. Now, I know some of you would like me to speak either Singlese or Arabic. However, this video is just too long and I can't do it. Sorry about that. And I welcome you to my very first YouTube channel. My name is Lorenzo, or Lorenzo de Almeida, and the name of my new channel is Lorenzo de Almeida de Lanca. Now, I wanted to make this video to wish everyone out there a happy 4th of July slash Independence Day, our country's 244th. I would also like to wish two of my good friends a happy belated birthday to Dave and Fahad both of whose birthdays fell on July 3rd. Now, my original idea for making this video was I was going to sing some patriotic songs at the end, but I've decided to do those patriotic songs in a separate video or videos, so, so stay tuned for those, for the uh, Star Spangled Banner and America the Beautiful. So I want to talk today about a couple of issues that are very uh, near and dear to me. The first one is about race, race relations. As my parents taught both my brothers and me many, many years ago, both implicitly and explicitly, no one person is better than another person. Not because of his or her race, religion, skin color, nationality, etc. We're all equal. And I've always firmly believed that. There is no room in this country or the world for any type of racism or hatred. No room, no vacancy. Sorry. From racism, anti-Semitism, and Islamophobia, to homophobia, misogyny, and white supremacy, this racism and this hatred must stop. Now, not later, now. Stop the hatred. As many others do, I feel very bad about George Floyd and others who have lost their life and lives unfairly, both here in the U.S. and in other countries. And I feel especially bad about three particular individuals who died either this year or last year. First, there was Ahmed Arbery. He was a young man who was shot while he was jogging near his home in Brunswick, Georgia. Then there was Brianna Taylor. She was the EMT. She was shot while in her home while the police served a no-knock warrant. And finally, there's Elijah McLean. He was a young man, the self-proclaimed introvert. He died a few days later after being taken into police custody in Aurora, Colorado, he was stopped while walking home from the store buying, I believe, either some iced tea or some soda pop. So my heart truly goes out to all those family and friends of those individuals. <clears throat> Excuse me. I stand with and behind all those who oppose hatred and racism, both of which rear their hideous heads in innumerable ways and forms all over this country and the world. And I definitely stand with the Black Lives Matter movement. And I completely disagree with one of our national leaders who recently said that the words Black Lives Matter were, and I quote, a symbol of hate. I disagree. I want to talk for a few minutes about one of my favorite heroes, Martin Luther King Jr. In his, in his I Have a Dream speech, which he delivered on August 28, 1963, at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., Dr. King uttered some of the most immortal phrases I've ever heard. I'd like to recount a few of those now. Reverend King stated that, and I quote, 100 years later, 
the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. The 100 years he was referring to were the 100 years since the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. And I've always loved the next one, and I often quote it. Quote, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That's right, a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Dr. King ended this speech, probably his most famous, by stating that he looked forward to a time when, and I quote, we will be able to sp speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we're free at last, hallelujah. And now I'd like to address my second issue, and that's about the novel coronavirus. The novel coronavirus, also referred to as COVID-19, is a pandemic as, that is and has been wreaking havoc on both the United States and the world. Although these numbers are approximate, the recent numbers indicate that about 130,000 people have lost their lives in the U.S., and over 532,000 people have succumbed to this illness worldwide. Again, that's half a million people have died due to COVID-19 in the world. And my heart goes out to all those people suffering and who have suffered with the illness and to all the family members and friends of those who have succumbed to this deadly contagion. And I want to give a public thanks and shout out to all of the first responders, the medical professionals, and the essential personnel, especially to the doctors and the nurses, every day on the front lines fighting this illness. I know some of them have lost their lives. It's not an easy job. I could never do it. In fact, I have one relative He's a doctor working here, at least one relative who's a doctor. He's working here in the Southern California area. He's told me and he's written emails explaining what he goes through on a daily basis. Unbelievable, very hard for me to understand, impossible. And again, thanks to all those people out there who are keeping others alive and doing their best. I saw something on the news recently where a father, when asked about the coronavirus, said, and I quote, it was a hoax and a joke. A hoax and a joke, he called it. Believe me, it is neither. Now, it is both imperative and incumbent that we all do what we can to help slow the spread of this virus and bring it to an end. Whether that's by wearing masks in public and social distancing or through other measures, we all need to be cognizant of others and how our actions do, how our actions can and do affect other people. So in closing, I'd like to wish everyone again a safe, happy, and healthy Independence Day 
slash 4th of July, Budusharnai, Firmalenge, Shalom, Masalama, Sayonara, Ivaya Condios. Thank you everyone for watching. And may God bless all of you. And may God bless the United States of America, land of the free and home of, home of the brave. Thank you.